Breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Today is the 23rd of August, uh, 2022. And so, uh, Baiwa, mother to Vice President Kondatino Chuenga's former wife, Mary Baiwa, has opened up on her daughter's ordeal, saying she's surviving through God's grace as she goes through a very rough patch. Mary, who is bedridden, has been brought to court on allegations of forging her marriage to Chuenga plotting to kill vice president while he was sick and admitted at a hospital in South Africa, money laundering, assaulting her maid, among several other allegations. She was issued with a warrant of arrest for failing to climb the court stairs to attend a hearing after she came to court in an ambulance. She was later wheeled into court on a stretcher. She is suffering from cancer, which has several affected her arms and legs. Yoga told Alpha Media Holdings, Heart and Soul Television last Thursday during the free talk program that her daughter was being victimized as evidenced by the selective application of the law. She said Mary, who is visibly sick, was receiving harsh treatment from the courts. Currently, she is not feeling well. I can say she is critical ill and she is not speaking. Even yesterday, last Wednesday at court, she was in a wheelchair, she was drowsy and she didn't even know where she was. But because we had to take her to court, we had to find means to do so. Yoga said, My daughter's predicament is a difficult one, and seeing her in this helpless state breaks my heart. Her hand is indeed lifeless, but we could not consent on her behalf. We are trying to talk to her to get it removed. She is not in the right state of mind. It is difficult even to persuade her to do so, she said. Mary's mother said she felt laid down by the country's justice system as their daughter was being deprived of basic human rights. Every human deserves the same treatment, rich or poor. For Mary, I don't think she's getting enough uh, fairness in everything, she said. Yoga said they were unable to voice their plight because they were powerless, voiceless and helpless. Before she lost favor with Chuenga and soon after he became VP, Mary was in the headlines for referring to her office as the uh, office of the second lady of Zimbabwe. Further asked about their daughter's constitutional rights, Yoga said, I don't know about that. I don't know whether there is anything of that sort. Mary is being treated differently and it's difficult in her situation. There is some acknowledgement because they do not put her in the dock as usual. They just do the court proceedings while she is in the wheelchair, which means they know and acknowledge that she's not well. She said Mary currently had no source of income as her bank accounts were frozen and there's no access to her businesses. Yoga feels that if Mary receives treatment outside the country, she may recover. I'm sure going to South Africa would help. Doctors attending to her here have tried their best, but it is not enough, she said. Last week, opposition MPs grilled acting leader of the House in the National Assembly, Monica Mtrangwa, over Mary's continued arraignment before the courts where she's visibly ill. Mtrangwa could not give a satisfactory answer. Human rights groups and women pressure groups have been criticized for their silence on her ordeal. And so guys, that's the latest here regarding to Mary um, Baiwa. Yes, her mother did an interview with um, HSTV yes, a few days ago. And uh, it's so sad, man. It's really sad uh, to hear my children who are so I mean, I'm not a woman. I'm not a recover from this whole situation. And so we send prayers to um, by our family and we hope that uh, she will recover. We hope that uh, the uh, court will also give her a passport back so that she can receive uh, medical attention outside Zimbabwe. And so we just pray that she can not quit in time so that she can uh, recover from this whole situation because my one child and so guys this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv remember to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here Listen.